Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. It's Angela, the Traveling Crafter, and I am here with a quick little haul and then uh, some shares on how I'm going to be using some of these things or what you can look forward to in some future videos. So let's go ahead and get started. But before we do, a special shout out to each and every one of you friends who have joined and subscribed to the channel and for commenting and hanging out with me. I couldn't do it without you, and you are very important to me, each and every one of you. So thank you. All right, well, where did I get these? Okay, I went to one of my um, favorite thrift stores um, shortly after, um, well, actually, a, a week or two ago, and they had all their Christmas 75% off and I was like, nope, not going there. But, so I wasn't interested in that, but I did find some cool things. First of all, let me show you this box. Isn't that pretty? There's nothing on it that says where it's from, what, it, nothing. But it's almost like fabric-y. It's not, but it's beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. And inside of it was this. And... These were wrapped around each page. You know where this is going. This is a photo album. So I have taken all of these off and we will, um, and it's just like I said, a regular photo album. So this has, I got an idea for this. Now along the same lines, look at this. Can you say 1960s? Pretty sure it is the from then and it still has the full free photo album and it's got the pages just like those this is from japan i think it said on the back yeah made in japan so and it smells a little bit vintage i'm just gonna say so this also along with its friend right here are going to be something something in our future and I don't know, I found yet another Dr. Dan the Bandage Man. And I just asked Carrie, I'm like, do you need any more of these? And because I found another one a week or two ago. And so I have another one. So Carrie, if you need yet another one, it's yours. If not, I will use it. And I think this is cool. And I'm interested because I know Carrie has several. Or those of you out there that have this. Do you have two real plastic bandages in your book? Because this one does not. I don't know where they were. Maybe right here. I don't know. But this did have a... I don't know who is that. A little puppy. But it does have the um, barcode on it. So it's a newer book. But Okay. Uh, in a previous haul, I shared with you that I got some um, bows. These are the types of bows. Okay, I'm going to take one of these off this time. So you can see. These are the types of bows that I used to make. And I bought some in a haul not so long ago. These, uh, I realized when I was doing my video that they are handmade um, by someone. And they put them, which I thought was kind of cute, they put them on these little, these are Go Fish cards, but just different little kids playing cards. Pretty smart idea. Uh, and we have made these before on the channel, but this is how... Um, she or he made these the same way that I did mine. And they're great, you know, as clips, as tabs, as, um, you know, you can un unassemble them, dismantle them, and do something else with them. But there were more. And there were even more than this, but I just bought the ones that were, and I know these look probably kind of big to you, but the smaller, the last ones I got were even smaller. But Hey, this, I know, this takes a lot of work. So, when you can get them for $1.29 for a pack of three, ta-da, the work is done. Back to my goals. Be intentional. <laughs> simplify, simplify a little bit, huh? Um. Okay, the next thing I got was this. How much did I pay for this? $1.29. Uh, this is, I believe it was a tablecloth, but it's gingham, and it's got some cool little 
hand, it's more like cross stitching it. Now this I could do. Although look at this on, on the back. Look how nicely that's done. Maybe I couldn't. Um, but I think it's just a little tablecloth. Now you may have noticed, well, I don't know. It might be too early for you have not to have noticed, but for all of my just general videos that on the craft with me's, I I have one template that I'm using, again, being intentional and saving time. And there is a gingham background in all of those. And that's how I know that those are um, my tutorials or how-to videos. And um, it's just, I don't know. It's just, I'm weird like that. I gotta, gotta have a process. And um, so I thought, well, yeah, I totes need to have that gingham. Not that I don't have a lot enough already. Okay. There were, um, I mean, it was kind of slim pickings, I'm going to have to say. But I did find a few cute things. I liked these bicycles. And if you didn't know, Dave got me an e-bike for Christmas. And so I thought, well, maybe I could do a little something in my travel journals with those. Um, these are awesome. These are just from... Um, Where's that place called? Dollar Tree. Uh, I paid more than what you would pay at Dollar Tree. I paid $1.29. And um, here's another one. Now, I did use a little chunk of this in my, um, my tag book or my in intentions tag book for 2024. If you haven't seen that one yet, it's the Tag Your Turn video with um, Trudy from Trudy Craig. If you haven't followed her, check her out. They also had this. I'm a sucker for anything with travel. You guys know that. So for $1.29, where's this from? Bubble Abilities. From the paper studio. For probably from Hob Lob. This was $1.29. Where is this from? I don't know. It doesn't say on there. But it's just all the states. More travel. Loved it. I think this was there one of the last times I was there and I didn't grab it. Okay. Now, I've already prepped these because remember, one of the things that I had said at the end of 2023 was, and maybe it's why I picked um, the reminder to be intentional, is that when I brought things back from a haul, I was going to do something with them right now. I was going to separate the things that I was going to work with from the things that I was bringing to the maker's market or live sales. I was going to do a video on that. And then I was going to prep or dismantle or whatever it might be right then and there. So I did it. So I bought two of these. They're called All, All Star Sports. They had this um, kind of thicker, clear vinyl-y kind of what you would see like you could you know they have these to put like make into place or placemats coffee no <laughs> table class you know for kiddos they put it over over the top that uh, oil cloth is also what they call it on the ones that have colors in it anyway i bought two of them i think that they were probably a dollar 29 as well here is why uh i love these colors now, if you saw my Tea Time Cottage Journal, you know that I altered that. It was a baby book, and I altered it into a cottage tea time, cottage tea-ish journal. I am going to do the same thing with these. These will both be, uh, if you were on my live sale, you saw that I um, sold really large bundles of um, what I called school days and it was all old retro readers and this that and the next well I am going to do two journals because I now have two of these identical uh with that retro reader school days theme and I think these pages will be perfect so here is what I did and I'll give you a little bit um all I did is I sanded this with my sanding block and then I used clear gesso, which I need to buy some more clear gesso. Now, the one thing that I uh, oftentimes suggest to you guys is that there is something called etching primer. I did a little bit of research because um, I love it. However, it's in an aerosol and it's Iowa and it's winter. So I can't be spraying this in my craft room and I need to be outside and it's too cold. 
So I went online and I did some research. They do sell etching primer. It's what um, they use it a lot of times on like uh, vehicles, um, you know, on metals and things like that. However, I have used it for many, many, many years when I've upcycled furniture. Like imagine you have a really, oh, you know, like the tables that had uh, the shiny, you know, layer on them. You'd sand it a little bit, put that etching primer on it so that everything else that you put on there would adhere to it. So it's a it's a bonding agent. Well, they do sell etching primer in quart size, and I suppose bigger, uh, in gray, black, or green. Now, with that being said, it is extremely expensive. I think the, the for a quart, I think the cheapest that I found... A quart of that was 30 some dollars up towards 50. So keep that in mind, but it will probably last you forever. I am going to invest in it because uh, I love it and it's always worked for me on every surface. So if you want something that's going to stick forever and you don't want things to pull up, etching, especially if you're going to paint, like if I paint this cover, the etching primer would be perfect. So there you go. There's my, my thing for the day. All right. So yes, these were at my thrift store. Did I pay too much for them? The answer would be yes. But we're going to take them out. Uh, the I'm going to just tell you, these were $2.29 a piece for the little ones. But these little babies, oh my gosh. And they had men, they had women, they had, um, you know, families. But... This, my friends, these are from the um, early, either the late 18, no, I think most of the ones I got are all from the early 1900s. So, uh, when I, when I was picking them out, I was like, oh my goodness. So, I am going to make a digital out of this. Tell me if you guys think that I should, but I think, I think when you see these cutie patooties, you're going to be like, Yes. They're adorable. So yeah, these, the bigger ones were $3.29. Would I normally, and this was at a thrift stop, not stop, shop, not even an antique store. So did I lose my mind for maybe a moment? Yes, but I'm blaming it on these cute, adorable little babies. All right, so there's that one. I'm going to have to get a little. And to stay committed to me, following through with what I said I was going to do. I am going to take these up right after this and look at those two. You can definitely tell they're brother and sister and he's like, really? Mom, you're making me hold this rose? Come on, give me a frog in my pocket. With that beautiful look at her skirt. The beautiful chair. And this one, she's like I'm cool. I'm really cool. And I don't know. This isn't the same baby. But it could very well. This little girl could be one of those two little girls, I bet. Look at these little kids. They, these little boys look like, I'm sorry, I have to take each one of them apart. Open up. Open them up. Look at the backs of them, though. These have pink on the back. Isn't that neat? They just look like they're up to trouble. This is San Luis Obispo. San Leo, Luis Obispo. Some of them had names on the back. I have one more to show you. Nothing on that one. San Luis Obispo. The corner of Valencia and 16th Street in San Francisco. Watsonville, California, and San Luis Obispo. Okay, let's look at the last little cutie patootie. Also from San Luis Obispo. I didn't see that until just now. So they made their way all the way to Iowa somehow. Okay. And there's the last little sweetie. 
wonder if that's a little girl or a little boy. It could be a little boy. I don't know. But either way, adorbs. So I'm going to take these and um, get them scanned into a fun digital for you guys. Okay. Last but not least is a project that I'm also, I think I'm going to do today. All right. You guys probably know who Vera Bradley is. I don't know if you're going to be able to see this whole thing. For some reason, um, my, that one thrift store that I love it always has tons of these tons. And I don't know why, but anyway, this is actually, and so not that I buy them, but I do always look because, um, I'm working on some other things that, uh, on a clutch that I bought there too. So I do always look, but this was, this is actually for, um, your makeup. So here's what it, it folds out. So it's got a hanging part on it and then it folds together like this. And I think it ties. So it keeps everything together. How much did I pay for this? Six bucks, I think. Um, here, let's take the tag off. Six twenty nine. Everything has the 29 on it. The prices are going up there, but $6.29 for a Vera Bradley bag. That's nothing. Uh, so there's a zipper. Can you see that? There's a zipper here. I haven't looked in. Oh, cool. Look at that. Can you see that? There's pockets with, oh my goodness. We're going to have so much fun with this. And let me tell you what we're going to do. Um, see, somebody probably had their, let's see if I can their makeup's in it. So this is a clear compartment. Well, for what I'm going to be using it for, it's not going to make a bit of difference. Uh, and then here's another zipper pocket. And then this big kahuna. Let's see. And it's just, it's just, it's bigger. All right. Now let's see. Does it have anything else? No pocket there. No pockets on the outside. So if you haven't guessed by now, what I'm going to do is for my traveling crafter uh, bag, I am going to take the small bags that I have, because I think I have two, and I am going to transfer everything into this. So on a previous video, I mentioned that I don't I don't do a lot of organizing on camera because for me, it's very therapeutic and I kind of just like to do it by myself in the quiet, but I do need to give some love and attention to my travel bag. And I thought I would just lay it all out here and then trans transfer it and make it more efficient into this. And I will do that on camera. So you can look for that soon. Um, but I thought it was pretty cool. So if you find these, and it's awesome because if I'm at a Airbnb or a hotel, I can find something just to hook it on. And and it, you know, it's this big. It's humongo. So I'm looking forward to that. And I'm not so certain that I wouldn't, depending on how what the outcome is when we do this together and organize it, that I wouldn't uh, entertain buying another one depending on how it fits in my backpack, we, we shall see. Um, but I'm excited about that. So I hope you enjoyed that. And until next time, look at that. Uh, remember to take time to just be, please let me know what was your favorite today. And we will talk to you soon. Cheers.